Workers who had direct contact with West Africa Ebola patients are now required to go through quarantine. A nurse who had returned to the U.S. from West Africa after working with Ebola patients was placed under quarantine under a new policy. The new quarantine order that went into effect on Friday required all healthcare workers who had been in direct contact with Ebola patients in Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone to enter a 21-day quarantine once they arrive in the U.S. through New York Liberty and Kennedy International Airports. Casey Hickox, the nurse who was the first person to be quarantined in New York under the new policy, described being held for seven hours at the airport, where she was found with a fever on Friday, but tested negative for Ebola on Saturday. Hickox was later escorted by eight police cars to University Hospital in New York, where she was kept in quarantine in a tent outside the hospital building. The quarantine period of 21 days is the longest recorded period for any infected person to manifest the disease. 